Don't miss Shadan and Raj Gat. North Korean leader Kim Jong un has met his match in the inflamed rhetoric department. U.S. President Donald Trump let loose a fusillade of overheated warnings atypical of American leaders, and characteristic of North Korean leadership, as the two countries and the region hurtled towards a nuclear flashpoint on Wednesday. TNN August 9, 2017, 0837 p.m. East North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has met his match in the inflamed rhetoric department. U.S. President Donald Trump let loose a fusillade of overheated warnings atypical of American leaders and characteristic of North Korean leadership as the two countries and the region hurtled towards a nuclear flashpoint on Wednesday. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen, Trump said angrily during a meeting in the middle of his 17-day vacation at his Bedminter, NJ resort after the isolated and kooky communist country had reacted with fury to the new UN sanctions, saying it will make the US pay dearly for it. The sanctions in turn were imposed after North Korea conducted two missile tests that came amid US assessment that Pyongyang has managed to miniaturize a nuclear warhead that can fit atop a missile. The range of various missile tests and the mastering of miniaturization has led U.S. experts to deduce that North Korea can at the very least launch a nuclear-loaded missile at the U.S. territory of Guam in the Pacific, and by reducing payloads, reach as far as Hawaii, Alaska, and perhaps even mainland United States. Indeed, North Korea confirmed it had Guam in its sight by publicly identifying the territory, which has a large U.S. military base, as a target, even as the island's leadership tried to calm the 160,000 Guamanians on it while U.S. bombers based there took to the skies in a show of strength. But Trump was not done with the muscle flexing against a regime that has been regarded as rather unhinged and overheated by previous presidents, who have treated it with a mixture of disdain and distance. My first order as president was to renovate and modernize our nuclear arsenal. It is now far stronger and more powerful than ever before, Trump thundered over Twitter on Wednesday morning. Hopefully we will never have to use this power, but there will never be a time that we are not the most powerful nation in the world. The unreal exchanges including nuclear threats between the two volatile leadership should have had the stock market tanking and people hoarding food and water if the situation was deemed serious, but it is a measure of lack of gravity and theatre they bring to bear that late-night comedians were making fun of the cartoonish figures at the center of the row. American analysts and political veterans, though, were aghast at the U.S. president's verbal overreach, saying it was unbecoming of him to issue such threats unless there were strong reasons and intention to carry it out. I take exception to the president's comments because you've got to be sure that you can do what you say you are going to do. In other words, the old walk softly but carry a big stick, Republic Senator John McCain told KTAR Radio in Arizona, while Democrat Senator Dianne Feinstein from California said President Trump is not helping the situation with his bombastic comments. Trump's Secretary of State Rex Tillerson however sought to dial down the tensions and Trump's bombast saying nothing that I have seen and nothing that I know of would indicate that the situation has dramatically changed in the last 24 hours, and maintaining, Americans should sleep well at night. Tillerson also insisted Trump was sending a strong message to North Korea in language that Kim Jong-un can understand, because he doesn't seem to understand diplomatic language. I think the president just wanted to be clear to the North Korean regime on the U.S. unquestionable ability to defend itself, will defend itself and its allies, and I think it was important that he deliver that message to avoid any miscalculation on their part, he added. Meanwhile, other lawmakers and nuclear experts were sizing up North Korea's capabilities beyond responding with words, particularly after Pyongyang indicated it could go beyond Guam. We do not hide that we already have in full readiness the diversified strategic nuclear strike means which have the U.S. mainland in our striking range, a lengthy North Korean statement, which ran more than 1,700 words, said. Should the U.S. finally opt for a reckless military adventure, defying the stern warning of our revolutionary armed forces, the tragic end of the American empire will be hastened, it added. Alaska's Republican Senator Dan Sullivan spoke of his state frontline status as a missile defense forward base even as U.S. experts were busy calculating the range, trajectory, and payload of the missiles North Korea has tested lately. There's concern, but there's also pride, Sullivan said on Fox News on Tuesday. Alaska is the cornerstone of our nation's missile defense. Get latest news live updates on the go on your PC with News App. Download the Times of India news app for your device.
Related Donald Trump says North Korea will be met with fire and fury if it threatens U.S. U.S. orangutan Chantek, the ape who went to college, dies at 39. Trump advises at odds over president's foreign policy.